Michael is lacquer and this show is dapper See you viewers are so dope cause you here to witness How we do it in this business of rapping and rhyming The culture of hip hop is not dead, we still here So thank you for being here Ikamalami Ustingongobese, the new host of Damn Hip Hop And indeed here local is lacquer From Mutwako to Skanda, even that Durban poison is in there we are here in Cape Town where I have just found out that hip hop started in the Cape Flats in 1982. You cover that fact. That's it. Let's just go to the lineup. Except, roll that sting, man. So it goes. Welcome to this new world where lying can get you millions. People change that like chameleons. You can't touch the system. Because you're going to get burnt, that's why. Samsung <laughs> Ketani, ladies and gentlemen. My brother, thank you so much for spending some time with us, my man. Uh, sure, sure. You know how it is. Bruh, so uh, I just want to ask straight up. Um, Unguban, when I TK, from Utamsang to TK to the pigment, you know, are these three different personalities or what is it, man? <clears throat> No, you see me, as you just said, mm -hmm. that's me. As an artist, I'm TK the Pigment. So, 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 so uh, it's, it's like your alter ego, in a way. Um, not alter ego, but, yeah, yeah, it is alter ego. It's called alter ego. So, like, you, people know you as Utamsang. Like, mm. uh, me, as your friend, yeah. I know you as Utamsang. But then, uh... TK the pigment is the artist when you when you rapping when you are on uh, on stage. Yeah, you know? when I'm expressing myself, I'm not expressing myself as Tam Sang. Yeah, I'm taking Tam Sang and expressing it as in another person. Yeah, another personality, if I could say. Sure. And then tell us the pigment because the the one time you told me you once told me that your heart is like black and red, you know. So can you just elaborate on more more on the the pigmentation of UTK? Like. Pigmentation of myself is the same way as an expression of myself. Mm. Like, <clears throat> as I said, like, I express that I have a black heart which is colored in red and black. Yeah. Simply because life wasn't smooth, you know, getting to this journey wasn't that easy. <laughs> yeah, true, true, so true. So, a lot of moments were created. That makes me express in such and such ways. Yeah. Yes. No. Nah, okay. Definitely. Um. So, uh, I was listening to Absol. Um. Mm -hmm. Actually, this morning, and you know, in one of his songs, he's like, "Sometimes I want, I ask myself, what do I really do it for? Is it to cover up the fact that I'm really insecure? So, my question to you is, is uh, when you're expressing yourself, you know, when you're rapping or when you're on stage acting, is it covering up? <clears throat> some some insecurities or is it running towards something or, or away from something i don't know it's yeah. it's more of like opening up and <clears throat> there's a lot of like as people like there's a lot of things we keep daily inside us mm -hmm. and like me like music is a way of expressing yeah just like as an actor you have a journal and you journal every day just yeah, to get your, your thoughts and what you were doing out. It's, it's just a process, man. Like, mm. And like, <sighs> I express myself <laughs> in these ways. Dog. Like, yeah, no, I, no. Can't, I can't help it. No, like, it's because, I mean, uh, you, you find it, I mean, like, uh, you, you, like you say, it's, it's expressing yourself, you know, mm. running away from the mental chains. Not like, running away mostly, but like, just. Oh, yeah. Finding solutions. Freeing yourself yeah, from the mental yourself, chains, yeah. yeah. Finding solutions to, to the mental chains. And, you know, even in one in, in the verse, in this in the Welcome to the New World song, mm. you know, you, you have you have that part where you say, uh, you have to behave and then be like a slave, you know. Yeah. yeah. In order to proceed and get a job in this life. <laughs> yeah. You need to behave and you need to work like a slave. Mm, mm, mm. Simple. True. Because if you ain't working, you ain't gonna make money. You're not gonna make money. If you money, don't have yeah. the discipline, you're gonna lose your job. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. So, yeah, man. <laughs> that first verse. What about what it? What does it say, <laughs> man? What does it say? <clears throat> well, the first verse. It's, yeah. It's a deep verse, man. Like, 
it's a verse where I come in as an artist, I just question a lot of things like, what do you do without inspiration? What do you do when you lack motivation? Because mm. every day I come outside and sometimes I don't cross. Like life outside, it's, it's harsh, man. Like, Can you drop it? Should I? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it goes like, <clears throat> What do you do without inspiration? What do you do when you lack motivation? I'm in the state of desperation. I gotta inspire a nation full with contemplation. I'm contemplating how life getting harder. Businessmen getting smarter. The economy moving faster. Hold on to your soul and never let it go. Emotions to the floor. I stepped over feelings. No love given. I wanna live this good life. Life ain't no joke, but I laugh while I'm living. This life is a cycle, we're too focused on our lives to ever realize these lies on TV, all these schemes, they marketing. I walk around in Cape Town, I see a lot of vanity inside these Cape Tonians. My city getting killed by these drugs, alcohol, politicians having parties while the citizens are dying. Welcome to this new world, where life can get you millions. People change like chameleons. You can't touch this fucking system Just follow all your orders All your numbers are recorded Behave and work like a slave I said the system can be maintained What's happening in the new South Africa? We getting westernized like America And our cultures are dying and mother nature is crying. Don't love the government. He's a big fat liar. Spending money so much, she can't pronounce the numbers. I'm not a follower, I'm going against the agendas. Keeping us at the bottom to keep that money flowing. A lot of snakes in this jungle turning into these lions. And they so powerful and proudly South African. Be careful of the animals in the suits. They savages when it comes to these rants. And that's why crime can never calm down. Corruption confuses this city. My city so lonely and scary. How long have the townships been going on? How long has the Cape Flats been holding on? How long has the system been messed up? Boundaries around this race of separation killed the nation born free, Zane, free, check your fees. And we're still here with TK, you know. Uh, now I wanna, I wanna actually ask about the song. You know, what is, what is it about, you know, the whole song in general? Like, <clears throat> The song mainly speaks about, you know, corruption in the city. Mm -hmm. It also touches on my being as a person, like how I see things in the city. Yeah. Basically, like I unveil like the problems in the city. Yeah, you being from Cape Town and all of that. And you know, it's a funny thing um, that you say that because uh, with uh, with art in general, you know, from films and rapping and like hip hop, like the culture of hip hop. Yeah. Um, it's it, it has been all about you know growing people and be, being careful of the snakes that are around in this business and all of that you know. Uh, so what do you think of, of that of the concept of the new world order? Because you know whenever you bring that up, people always think of that. Yo, that's that art a part of, of it. You know, new world order only exists in art and everything. But even in your song, you say uh, what's this? you have to behave and work like a slave you know so if i would um if i was to give the notion of uh this system is about keeping us as slaves like what would you put out what do you think of that and how do you express that with your music no nah, man like i'm not saying every person is a slave mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but i'm just saying the way the system treats you it kind of treats you like a slave like like in the workplace, in the workplaces, like there is corruption and like employees do get manipulated. Yeah. You know, yeah. like your percentages get taken away. <laughs> but yeah. in, in, in slimy yeah. ways, you know. Yeah. But like in this song, I also touch on a political factor of mm. our government system, the way they also run things. Yeah. It's not in place. It's not in order. And. I just feel like something has to be done, man. Would you call yourself a political rapper? I'm not. You're not. But I would call myself a rapper who speaks if there's an issue. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Because um, that second verse of yours, uh, it, it, you, you always, you're always asking on what's happening in the new South Africa, you know, and all of that. And it, it's, it's quite relevant, you know, when you actually 
think about it and you think of the lyrics and all of it, you yeah. know, it's quite educational in a way and I think our youth can really use that, yeah. you know, our, our youth can really use that and you being part of the youth, you know, we really need those people who are going to speak about the, you know, the system and all of that and actually educate the youth about hip-hop and all of that, you know? Yeah, man. Like, times have changed now drastically. Like, exactly. Like, like, the youth, it has, youth has changed. Like, mm. young people are living like adults. Like, <laughs> they are yeah. actually living like adults. The lifestyle. Like, <laughs> and, like, yeah. my music, like, I wouldn't mind if the youth listened to it. Yeah. Like, I'm not sure it will mess you up or change mm, you mm, personally. Mm. But it will like open up your mind in such and such way. Indeed, ways. indeed. I'm not trying to influence you into doing things, but lie to me. Yeah, you know? yeah, and and I think and I think that that's what's really needed. Um, we, we need to realize that we're here to actually enlighten each other while we still like liberating ourselves. Yeah. But anyway, bruh, thank you so much for your time, yeah, dog. Uh, you know, it's always a pleasure talking with you, spending time with you, my G. You know, so it's there. Thank you so much. I've just actually gotten an idea. Save hip hop, save the youth. Teach the youth hip hop and reveal the truth behind freedom of expression. What happened to Ricky? What happened to Ricky is the same thing that happened to 50. And like, if you wanna know what happened to Ricky, be sure to check out to Miss Hugh that broke the internet. Ricky, the same thing that happened to Reason. He was touched by a guard. I gave him the plate. Now we eat and eat up. I'm not some old bitter nigga name dropping because I need him. I don't fight with my children. I, feed I guess you all know the saying local is lacquer, right? Yes. Of course you do. And indeed local is lacquer. It is said that all SABC radio stations are set up to play 90% local music. So what happened to Ricky? The same thing that happened to Reason. He was touched by a guard. I gave him the and plate. That's now it we from eat the point even. Yeah, I'm not some it. old bitter nigga oh, name dropping because I need that's him. That's what I'm giving. I fight with my children. I feed him. Show I'm joking. You come back and scream. <laughs> So this is the part of the show where you either go yay or nay, depending on your thoughts of the show. Follow the link on the screen to watch more episodes of Damn Hip Hop. Every, every show, different artists, but still keeping it local, baby. From me, Ustingo, and the whole Damn Hip Hop team, until next time, I'm a leader of the future world, changing the game. Peace. Peace. Welcome to the snow world. Where a line can get you millions People change like chameleons You can't touch this fucking system Just follow your